All right, uh, welcome to our presentation. The background of Anna is her name, full name is Anna Garcia. She's 20 years old. Her occupation is she's an undergraduate college student and she works part time in a research lab in the Gentry Life Science Building. She's female. Anna was a stellar student and enjoyed spending her time in the lab playing soccer with friends. In the days prior to her death, she had gotten into a fight with her boyfriend, hit one of her teammates with a soccer ball, and received the college scholarship that her friend wanted. So now let's get into the summary of the scene. On August 20th of 2020, at approximately 10 in the morning, we arrived to the Gentry Life Science Building. The descendant, Anna Garcia, was found in the Gentry Life Science Building. Upon our our arrival, we found Anna lying on the ground, deceased next to a lab table. At the scene, we found the body, blood on the corner of a lab table, blood splatter from the original body, and after the body was moved, blowfly eggs and blowflies in the eyes, mouth, and nose and around the body were found. And a cell phone was also found, an overturned flash, hair on, was on her body, and a note in Anna's pocket. All right, so now we're moving into our persons of interest. The persons of interest appear to be fairly trustworthy. We were able to perform a polygraph test to determine this. Our top persons of interest are Dominique Hall and Eric Piedmont. These are our top persons of interest because one, their blood type matched and Eric's hair was found at the scene. Eric Pima is Anna's boyfriend. He was seen arguing days before. And Dominique Hall is Anna's classmate, very competitive, and Anna had just won the scholarship that she wanted. Um, this is an analysis of evidence so far. After looking at the hair found at the scene, we discovered that it belonged to Eric Piedmont. Now let's get into There's no fingerprint. fingerprint. Eric's fingerprint was found on a handwritten note at the crime scene, as well as a partial fingerprint from Anna found on glassware. So the finger, the digital evidence that we found at the scene was over text her and Sam were fighting about Anna bumping into her at soccer practice. She was also talking to Dominique who seemed upset about her getting the scholarship, as well as Sam who was apologizing for making her angry at lunch the other day. Our blood type results showed that both of the samples of blood taken from the scene were type A. The only persons of interest who had this type are Dominique, Eric, and Anna. Now let's get into the blood splatter analysis. We determined that the blood was dropped from high up and was dropped directly from above and strike at a 90 degree circle. This is why the droplets produced a circular stain. For our DNA analysis, there were only two separate pieces of DNA evidence taken from the scene. One was found on the corner of the table and the other on the floor next to the decedent. After performing a gel electrophoresis test, we were able to determine that both samples of blood evidence at the scene were Anna's. For our uh, overall impression and explanation of what have, may happen, our impression of what happened is that Eric came to talk to Anna when she was doing her lab. They got into an altercation where Anna hit her head. She fell to the floor and Eric was the one who moved her body. In the process of doing so, one of his hair spelt. We believe this because Anna and Eric were said to have been previously arguing, and he seems to be the only one with motive. Plus, we found one of his hairs at the scene. So what are the next steps? 
We still are unsure of exactly what happened. We believe that our next steps are to re-interview Eric Piedmont. In order to wrap up this case, we feel that we still need a confession from Eric Piedmont. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.